Right, something a little bit different. Uh, I need to make a lot of pegs for the greenhouse build. Uh, so I'm going to make a peg maker. Um, makes making pegs a lot quicker. Um, the neighbour gave me these metal spikes and I want to weld two of them together to make a nice digging spike. Um, so I'm going to cut a bit off of this one, use this for the peg maker and I'll be able to weld two of these then together. Um, I could even end up making two peg makers of different sizes if I want, but we'll start with one. Right. You'll see as I go along what the plan is. Let's get to it. Right, I overlooked something. This is too long to fit in the drill press, so I'm just cutting it down a bit. Uh, right, I uh, cut a bit off it. It was too long to fit under here, really. And now uh, it sits a lot flatter and straighter. So let's uh, get drilling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be constantly turning it hope of trying to keep it straighter all right I cut it down a bit so it fit under the drill press and now I've got a 4.5mm 4, 4, 4 hole all the way through just meets in the middle which is perfect slightly offset but we'll be able to straighten that in the next pass yeah it's coming along going up a size there's a pocket in there <sighs> right that took me absolutely ages but I got a 22 mil hole all the way through but I only want this edge here to be 22 mil the rest I want as a slight taper because otherwise it's going to bite all the way down you know I want to hammer in a peg in this end and then I want it to release it fairly soon so I've got to taper it so I don't want to take any off of here I want to start taking it off in there somewhere so I'm going to add that taper Right, it's the next morning, as you can probably tell by the cockerel going off. But uh, shed's a wreck, um, but we got somewhere. I just made this plate, got a hole out in it. Um, yeah, so this needs to weld onto here. So we've got a way of fixing it down to something. So right, then I can... let's get this welded up. Camera keeps stopping recording for some reason. Something wrong with the card, so hopefully we catch it. We'll see. Got gas. All right. Get a spot on there for now, check it's in the right spot. Right. That should hold that. Flip around so it's easy to weld. Crank up the power a bit. Right, that is maxing out the welder because that's a big chunk of steel. 
No Earth. Classic schoolboy mistake. Done. Just realised I welded that with no gloves on. Don't do that. Right, that is gonna be hot. Let's let that cool down. Pack the welder away. Just another peg to uh, knock that one out. Yeah, so the next peg along would knock that one out of there. All right, let's give myself a few blanks split. Nice straight grain, that's good. That's gonna be too thin now. All right, let's see about getting these split. Part of the process of uh, making these is putting a taper on them so they can find the uh, the offset hole. Um, so this is an integral part using like a shave horse. This is actually a bowl horse, but a shave horse would be better, but this is what I have um, to put that taper on them. So I thought it would be a nice mounting point for the actual uh, thing we just made, the, uh, the peg dowel maker, the die. So we can pound them through there and then move them to there, put the tape on them. Let's give it a try, see how it goes. I've got my blanks that we just split, and uh, let's see, yes, yeah, see how it works. All right, let's uh, pound one or two of these through through the die. See how they go, they're, they're split quite thick. You know, I didn't spend too much time getting them just right. Let's just give it a test, you know. We can always change things, make things sharper, or whatever, split them better. Right, well that went well. Okay, worked a treat. Let's try again, this one's got a bit of a curve to it. Fell out of the bottom. So then when you did another one, that one will come through. Right. It's worked a treat. Right, let's shave it down, put tape on it, see if we end up with a decent peg. So you clamp it from its end to end. Put a slight taper on it. Just a bit of a bigger taper, or more like a bit of a point to be honest, just for it to find that initial offset hole in the draw pegging. Equals. There we go, one peg. So I need to make about a hundred of these for the greenhouse frame. So I think this is going to work well. Cool, let's get to making pegs. Oh, I should say as well, these are 22 millimeter pegs. Now these are probably a bit big really for uh, the greenhouse build because it's only five inch posts. Generally uh, with something like five inch posts you have like maybe inch and a half tenons, inch and a half tenons you should probably have a peg about half that thickness so about three quarters of an inch. Um, but I tend to use, uh, you know, I tend to do 
generally try and use everything in 22 mil just so I can make you know one size of peg fits all um, and 22 mil is sort of somewhere in the middle of the three quarters and the inch you know and then it's so these will be a tiny bit big for the greenhouse and tiny bit small maybe for like big round wood frame stuff but you know it means I can just make pegs for everything um, and you can always just put two in you know so good 22 millimeters there Right, I've got four blanks here. Just knock them all through. That's not the best place to rest, them, is it? Right, that really was very, very quick. The uh, tool works great, the technique works great. Having it mounted right there where I need it works great. I did them, oh, just get waving the camera around. I did those in, you know, no time at all. What's that, five is it? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Five in no time at all. And they're made out of the off cuts of the sleepers. So it's just, you know, using everything. Perfect, right, let's make about a hundred of them. Having a bit of a hard time finding uh, straight grain bits. You can see I've got quite a pile of uh, rubbish that can't be used. Hit me thumbs up. But um, yeah, just found a piece that can be used. It's quite good. So let's uh, try and get quite a few out of this. Much better. Take a bit off the side of that. Well, this works an absolute treat. I mean, it, it couldn't work any better. I've just been putting a few for it. Um, it's not my idea, by the way. So it's quite it's an an old um, tool that I've seen before, but I couldn't see anywhere where you can buy them. That's why I made one. I probably would have bought one because it took me all day to make that because um, it was drilling it out to gauges but it works an absolute treat. I can't think of a better way to make pegs than that. The only trouble is this keeps sliding on me. Let's go like that. the last one works a treat right so I got myself a nice little pile of them split ready to put a taper on put some pen down there might have to adjust this so I decided to make them a little bit longer than I had them originally a little bit more work because you know 
we've got to pound them in further and and uh, pound them through that and put longer taper on them and so on so it's a little bit more work but um, if they're longer you just need a little bit more option you can leave them sticking out quite far and then um, you can tighten the building up if anything moves which is quite handy that's the wrong grain direction but we'll go with it now don't like to taper them too much either because otherwise you uh, end up with uh, um, big gap where the hole is on the tapered side so just a slight taper but you definitely want a really nice good point on the end so it finds that offset hole there's a peg right get that pile done Done. Right, well this video is 1 minute 35 long and uh, it didn't even uh, didn't even start at the start of the video so about a minute it takes to make one of them. Not bad I reckon. So yeah, these um, dies, this die that I made, can you see that? Yeah. Um, when I've seen them online before, they cost about £80 to buy, 80 or £90. So they're not cheap. And uh, if you buy the pegs, they're about two quid each. Um, but I've managed to do this with a bit of work for basically nothing. Um, those bits of wood, uh, bits of metal I had already, and I got them for free. Um, the wood is the off cuts from uh, doing the uh, sleeper seal logs um, this I already had from stripping logs for the roundhouse and bowl carving and what else is there that's it really yeah oh and uh, a little bit of gas and a rod for the welder that's the entire cost maybe maybe a quid something like that it's cost and a bit of time it's actually quite fun to do. Another 20 done. Over halfway now. Waiting again. Who's got a man? <laughs> One. Just get one that's already got tape on it. Almost done. Last one.
100 pegs. Right, that's the end of that video. Oh, full bucket full of pegs, ready for uh, our joinery. Each one of those pegs represents about probably three hours work at least. Mortise and tenon joint that goes, gets in, put in, taken out, refitted, put back in, hole mark, taken out, offset hole drill, put back in, peg driven in. So every one of them represents at least three hours work on the joinery. And we've got about 100 in there. <laughs> a lot of joinery in this uh, greenhouse. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.